Tip number 13. When you write your offer to purchase and you say that the vendor, Mr. Vendor, is subject to due diligence and I want to have this, 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 contracts, management, elevator, air conditioning, caretaker, copies of the rent, copies of the leases, copies of the expenses. You don't need this. When you start your due diligence, the first thing you need to look at is the income. I don't even ask for expenses because if the income is not there, the property is not worth what I offered. So the vendor tells you, says, listen, gross income, 100,000. Mr. Vendor, could you supply me with the rent rolls? Okay, an income and expense statement. I don't need copies of the invoices. I need an income and expense statement and the rent rolls. And I need to confirm that this property is generating 100,000. If it's generating 80,000, what do you do? Mr. Vendor, I made an offer to purchase on this property for you at $700,000 based on $100,000 worth of income. And now you're telling me it's worth, there's 80,000. You're not telling me. You haven't told me that actually you're only collecting 80,000. Therefore, this property is worth 560,000. Nothing more than that. It's only generating 80,000. You told me it was generating 100. If it had generated 100, I would have paid you 100,000. But it's generating 80. Well, Mark, you can increase the rent, you can do this. Yeah, but if I could do all this, wouldn't you have done it before you sell, you sold it, so that you get more money for your property? Because for me, my partner, we say that this property is only worth 560. Do you understand what I mean here, guys? So when you do due diligence, first thing you look at is the income. You renegotiate your price based on that income that you got. Then you look at the expenses and you renegotiate your prices on say, hey, you didn't tell me about the boilers. You didn't tell me about the roof. You didn't tell me about the windows. You didn't tell me that you had a caretaker in there that you were paying. Oh, suddenly I renegotiate again at a lower price. So for me, my first offer is never my final offer. Okay, that's a great tip, by the way, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.